Well, the main event for everyone this year, other than the Vendée Globe in November, will be the Artemis Transat race, the, what was formerly known as the Ostar, the, the granddaddy of all the single-handed ocean races. And it's vital not only because it's the last chance to test your boat up against the opposition prior to the Vendée, it's vital because for many people it will be the last chance to gain qualification for the Vendée Globe. Uh, to compete in the Vendée you have to have completed a single-handed non-stop race and, and preferably in the boat that you intend to compete in. So many people are having to do the race in order to get this qualification for the, for the Vendée. But that's a tough call because the Transat's no pushover. It's a tough race, 2,000 miles of sailing trans-ocean across, uh, across the Atlantic and then 1,000 miles of sailing virtually coastwise or pinned at least on one side by the North American shore. Sailing in between the Gulf Stream and the Labrador Current can have anything from storms, uh, hurricanes, uh, ice, bad visibility, all those things are the norm. Uh, and in May, of course, you could have some fairly big icebergs around at that time of year off the Grand Banks. So it's no pushover of a race, it certainly isn't a gin and tonic transatlantic. And, uh, and I, I guess it will weed out the, the strong from the, the weak.